Welcome back to Post Time. The Hamiltonian is the most prestigious trotting event in the universe. But of course, not everyone in the universe can attend this big race. That's why each year I present to you Heather's Hamiltonian Home Movies. The $1.5 million Hambletonian is for three-year-old trotters. It's an all-around exciting day of action that takes place at the Meadowlands Racetrack in New Jersey in August. We're at the Hambletonian hanging out in the box seat. So I have got my friend Ryan with me. And over here is Linda. Are you having a good time, Linda? Great time. <laughs> who in the 87th edition of this race we have to go down to the front paddock and join the connections and caretakers getting their standouts ready to race number one is uncle peter he won his elimination to make it into this big race two of the owners on this horse are brothers john and jim fielding and they named this trotter in honor of their youngest brother peter who passed away several years ago the horse is conditioned by Hall of Famer Jimmy Tactor and driven by Hall of Famer Ron Pierce. This duo won the Hamiltonian with Muscle Massive a couple of years ago. And Uncle Peter is the race favorite. Number two is Market Share, who seemed to be a specialist on a smaller track, but after recording the fastest of the three eliminations for the classic trot, his connections knew he could handle the mile oval just fine. The high stepper is conditioned by Linda Toscano, who is a breast cancer survivor and one of my favorite post-time interviews. Market Chair has the driving services of Tim Tietrich, who has been the leading money-winning driver in North America each year since 2007. Number three, Knows Nothing, made it to the final with a career best victory. He's the only horse in the Hambletonian who didn't race at two years old, but he's certainly making up for lost time. This horse has Canadian connections. The trainer is Jeff Gillis from Nova Scotia, who was voted the 2011 top trainer in the Great White North. And the driver is Jody Jameson, who's a triple winner of Canada's Driver of the Year. Plus, Jody won the World Driving Championship last summer. Number four, Archangel, is a new face to the Meadowlands Oval, as is his trainer, Peter Aaron Jenna. This is only the Colts' second start on the mile track. And when he came here to compete in the elimination for the Hambo, his trainer had never even been to the Meadowlands prior to that. Thank goodness for GPSs. Archangel was second in his elim, so it's doubtful he'll need any help getting around the big track. In the driver's seat is Jimmy Murrell Jr. Number five, my MVP, finished third to make it to the final, but not just any third. This horse came from last and rallied strong to qualify for the big race. The trainer is Tony Alagnum, and he's making his Hambletonian debut with my MVP. In the sulky is Hall of Famer Mike Lachance, who is 61. And if he wins this major trotting event, he will be the oldest driver to win a million dollar race. Number six, Prestidigitator performed a little magic for his third place finish to get in the final. This three-year-old also has Canadian connections. The conditioner, Dustin Jones, has been Quebec's trainer of the year twice, while the reinsman, Sylvain Filion, is a sought-after catch driver in our northern neighboring country. 
Number seven, Guccio, was charging hard late in the mile to take second in his elimination, and he's trained by Swedish native Jimmy Tactor, who has been voted the trainer of the year in the United States three different times. Yes, this is the same Jimmy Tactor who trains Uncle Peter. So I guess you could say that Tactor has a 20% chance to win this year's big race with two out of 10 horses starting from his stable. Jimmy is also the driver on Guccio. Number eight, Storm and Normand made a big first up move to qualify for the big dance by being the richest fourth place finisher among the three eliminations. He's a talented colt, and other than that fourth, he was no worse than second his whole career. Storm and Normand goes to post for the Jim Campbell Stable, and in the sulky is Hall of Famer Dave Pallone who also happens to be the winningest driver in North American harness racing history with over 15,300 victories. Number nine, Money On My Mind, got into the Hamiltonian thanks to a second place finish. But that outside post is really tough to win from in here. However, he's got a great team behind him. The trotter is trained by Julie Miller and he's driven by her husband, Andy Miller. Number 10, Jim Tan Laundry finished third in his elimination to qualify for the final. If those three words together sound familiar, it's because they said it a lot on the popular MTV reality show, Jersey Shore. Polly, Vinny, and Mike lived by those trio of actions. Jim Tan Laundry. Noel Daly is the trainer, and in the bike is the Minister of Speed, George Brennan. You want to make a pick? Ronnie Pierce. Who is he? Who is he on? Who's the Ronnie one. Pierce on? The one. Oh, Uncle Peter. Okay, Uncle Peter. For real? You actually have to look at the program. We've been here all day, and you need to like look at the program and make a pick. I like number five, my MVP. You can't pick him. That's my pick. That's my pick. I thought you were picking money on my mind. I never was picking. Money. Yes, you were because like Julie Miller. Oh, okay. I'll go with number nine. Okay. All right. And I'm picking my MVP. <laughs> We ran back up to the box to watch the race, since that whole line about, don't you know who I am, never works at the Hambletonian. And I'm too short to see the race above everybody else's head in the front paddock. As you can see, I shot the race with my camera, but let's switch over to the Meadowlands TV Control Center and see it the way it was intended on being watched. And they're off and trotting. Jim Tan Laundry trying to leave on the outside with Storm and Norman flashing speed. Archangel out fast. And the favorite, Uncle Peter from the rail, steps out into the first turn from post 10. Jim Tan Laundry. And Jim Tan Laundry takes the lead and out swooped Uncle Peter into the first turn. Archangel's on the move up with Jim Morrill Jr. Aggressive early. Market share fourth on the inside. Knows nothing is fifth. Storm and Norman is parked out sixth past the quarter. Then it's my MVP, followed by Prestidigitation. Tater, sluggish early is Gucci on then money on my mind 27 and 2 in the back stretch Archangel the Yonkers trot world champion takes the lead here comes the favorite Uncle Peter Uncle Peter's on the move up there the elimination winner sweeps up and grabs the lead Jim Tan Laundry last year's winner George Brennan in the uh, third position nearing the half mile market share is fourth to the outside goes no nothing fifth knows nothing is tipping to the outside and trying to flush market share here my MVP shoots the gap and advances Several stages. Then it's Storm and Norman to the outside and Presta Digitator with money on my mind and Guccio. They have 54 and 3 fifth, 27 and 1. Uncle Peter's the one to reel in near. It's Uncle Peter with market share on the outside coming up to challenge. Archangel gaps that pocket with nose nothing. Fourth on the outside, gapping cover still within striking range. Jim Tan Laundry, fifth on the inside. My MVP is sixth. Guccio has to come three wide around a failing Storm and Normand as they turn for home. It's Uncle Peter. Here comes Market Share, 122 and 3 in the stretch of the Hamiltonian. And Market Share powers to the top with Tim Tietrich. Market Share, Uncle Peter can't trot with him. Guccio up on the far outside. My MVP is closing hard. It's Market Share who needs the line. Guccio, my MVP closing, going to be tight. Market Share holds on. Market 
Let's share Tim Tetrick, Linda Toscano win the Hamiltonian in 152 and one. After the race, I ran back downstairs. Way too much running in heels, by the way. The sign for the newest Hamiltonian champ has already been added. And the crowd was cheering for Market Share, AKA Marky. And with good reason, the wonderful winner made a big first up move to capture the trophy in 152 and one. Marky, 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 Marky. It was the first Hamiltonian win for trainer Linda Toscano. In fact, Linda is the first ever woman to win the Hamiltonian. It was also driver Tim Tetrick's first ever Hamiltonian win. And we'll head back over to the Meadowlands TV Control Center for Tim's interview with Sam McKee. By the way, I don't know who this lady is, but anybody who knows the perfect spot to stand to get noticed on TV is my kind of gal. To win, you have to give your horse a chance. You didn't just sit in and try for a check. You wanted to win the race. You came first over. Tell us about your thought process and the move. Well, Linda was tired of me trying to let the race come to me, so I said, uh, we'll fix that, right? And it worked. She, she did a phenomenal job, the whole crew, and I'm just happy to be part of it. Now, watching the race, when you came to the top of the stretch and ranged up alongside Uncle Peter, I didn't know if you were actually going to get to him. Well, I, feel co I felt really comfortable at that point. You know, I'm following Ronnie, and Ronnie's already working on his cold a little bit, and he had, you know, he got stung pretty good down the backside. So, you know, my horse ranged right up to his wheel, and I felt really confident, and when I got called on him, he really went right by him and jumped two or three on him, and I think that made the race. So you're coming down to the wire, you think, wow, I've got the lead in the Hamiltonian, I'm gonna win it, then you hear hoofbeats, Guccio and my MVP coming. Well, I knew the, the cat, they were all gonna come, you know, the stampede was gonna come, but thank God the wire got there, that's all I can say. Tim Tetrick has to be the thrill of a lifetime to win the Hamiltonian. Dream come true, you know, uh, all my people back in Illinois, my mom and dad, I'm sure they're watching, you know, I'm just happy to be here. Congratulations to the bionic man, driver Tim Tetrick.